This is the world as it exists today. The advances in technology and AI the next few decades will make our world so different from today that we would barely recognize it. Many scientists believe that the intelligence of a machine that could successfully perform any intellectual task that a human being can will be achieved in the not too distant future, where machines will become smarter than us. Naturally, the question arises, can we survive in a world where we are no longer the smartest? The human species currently dominates other species because the human brain has some distinctive capabilities that other animals lack. If AI surpasses humanity in general intelligence and becomes super intelligent, then it could become difficult or even impossible to control. Just as the fate of the mountain gorilla depends on human goodwill, so might the fate of humanity depend on the actions of a future machine super intelligence. Elasia Yudakowski is an artificial intelligence researcher and writer best known for popularizing the idea of friendly artificial intelligence. According to him, the greatest danger of artificial intelligence is that people conclude too early that they understand it. Elon Musk thinks that artificial superintelligence is the single biggest existential crisis we face, and the most pressing one. He argues that the danger of AI is much greater than the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. And nobody would suggest we allow anyone to build nuclear warheads if they want to. When we look at AI today, which is also referred to as narrow AI, there really isn't that much complex intelligence in it. Intelligence refers to one's capacity for logic, understanding, self-awareness, learning, emotional knowledge, planning, creativity, and problem solving, etc. So we can dismiss the risks for a potential eradication of the human race in the hands of this type of AI. Elon agrees that narrow AI is not a species level risk, while it could result in dislocation, in lost jobs, and as Elon puts it, better weaponry, this is not a fundamental species level risk, whereas a digital superintelligence is. Elon suggests we ought to lay the groundwork to make sure we proceed very carefully if humanity collectively decides that creating a digital superintelligence is the right move. He recommends regulation in the development of artificial intelligence. We also need to figure out a way to ensure that the advent of a digital superintelligence is one which is symbiotic with humanity. Between our laptops, smartphones and tablets, we already use technology to connect ourselves in ever-advanced ways to the world. The line between technology and reality has become increasingly blurred. In the future, it's not hard to imagine the disappearance of this line with the merging of humans and machines. Many scientists think this kind of technological singularity can be achieved within a few generations. Ray Kurzweil, the futurist and director of engineering at Google, envisions a future where we'll all be less biological because humans are always evolving and the next step of our evolution will be the internal implementation of technology. The human-robot hybrid won't be a monstrosity of metal, it'll just be a chip in your brain instead of a smartphone in your hand. A technotopia where human minds are blowed to the cloud, becoming hyperconscious, immortal superintelligences. When it comes to technology, Kurzweil has gone on the record with hundreds of predictions, and he's correct over 90% of the time. Kurzweil believes medical robots will go inside our brain and connect our neocortex to the smart cloud. By the year 2029, once non-biological intelligence gets a foothold in our brains and will grow exponentially, as is the accelerating nature of information-based technologies. According to him, by 2040, the non-biological portion of our intelligence will be far more powerful than the biological portion. It will, however, still be the part of the human-machine civilization, having been derived from human intelligence. DARPA, the United States Department of Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has more than 200 different programs across the spectrum of science and engineering, and also founded the Neural Engineering System Design Program, which seeks to develop high-resolution neurotechnology capable of mitigating the effects of injury and disease on the visual and auditory systems of military personnel. 
The focus of the program is development of advanced neural interfaces that provide high signal resolution, speed and volume data transfer between the brain and electronics, serving as a translator for the electrochemical language used by neurons in the brain and the ones and zeros that constitute the language of information technology. In August 2020, scientists at the University of Delaware have announced that they have discovered a groundbreaking biosynthetic material that can be used to merge a computer with a human brain. The breakthrough is a major step towards integrating electronics with the body to create part human, part robotic cyborg beings. Connecting electronics to human tissue has been a major challenge due to traditional materials like gold, silicon and steel causing scarring when implanted. Scars not only cause damage but also interrupt electrical signals flowing between computers and muscle or brain tissue. The polymer, known as the PEDOT, has exactly the properties needed to interface electronic hardware with human tissue without causing scarring, while also dramatically improving the performance of medical implants. In the study, the team used a PEDOT film with an antibody that stimulates blood vessel growth after injury and can also detect early stages of tumour growth in the body. Previous research has found that PEDOT polymers can also be used to help treat or sense brain and nervous system disorders. Today, many companies and research institutions have shifted their focus and are working on technology to connect brains to computers. Neuralink, a secretive brain implant startup founded by Elon Musk, is trying to create a high bandwidth interface between AI and the human brain. As Elon points out, computers can communicate at a trillion bits per second, while humans, whose main communication method is typing with their fingers via a mobile phone, can do about 10 bits per second. In the age when AI threatens to become widespread, humans would be useless, so there's a need to merge with machines. A sufficiently advanced interface between the brain and the computer will enable humans to massively augment their capabilities by being able to leverage technologies such as machine learning and deep learning. First iterations of Neuralink's device could be used to assist people suffering from neurological disorders and brain diseases like Parkinson's. Though medical applications represent only the early adoption phase, ultimately Musk hopes the technology will allow people to compete with future AI. After all, one of the ways to avoid the dangers of AI, whilst also taking advantage of its increasing intelligence, is to merge with it. Many experts believe that the existence of an AGI could be a sudden existential threat to humanity, regardless of our attempts to constrain it. Dr. Ben Gortzell, CEO and founder of Singularity Net Foundation, is one of the world's foremost experts in artificial general intelligence. According to him, these reactions are probably going to look very silly to people a few decades from now, as they go about their lives which have been made tremendously easy and happy and fascinating compared to 2020 reality via the wide rollout of advanced AGI systems to handle manufacturing service and other practical jobs that humans now spend their time doing. Imagine it's eight years from now. All the other kids in your daughter's third grade class are way ahead of her because their brains are connected directly to Google and a calculator and they are SMSing back and forth via Wi-Fi telepathy between their brains while your daughter sits in class being stunted because she must memorize things the old-fashioned way and can't send messages brain to brain. Gutzel suggests you consider what you would do if your daughter's teacher brought you in for a parent conference and told you your daughter couldn't keep up with her classmates. Imagine she suggested some form of upgrade. You love your daughter, you want the best for her, what would you do? Gutzel believes that we are now at a turning point in the history of AI. According to him, we have between 5 and 20 years to achieve human-level AGI, with less than 3 years after that achieving superhuman-level AGI. We have not yet achieved the concept of a general intelligence system, and as such, current AIs are only capable of narrow tasks and applications. While machines have seen dramatic progress in processing power, even the most advanced computers are relatively rudimentary in comparison with the complexities and capabilities of the human brain. However, even the current narrow AI, or weak AI as is often referred, can vastly outperform a human in narrowly defined tasks. So, as Elon Musk suggested, the merge scenario with AI is the one that seems probably the best or, as he put it on the Joe Rogan experience, if you can't beat it, join it. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.